there and welcome back to another Thunders Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Play With Thunder. This should be episode 29. So hopefully we are back in business with the Play With Thunder series. Everybody seems to enjoy that it has returned and uh, we are picking up where we left off on the last episode. And actually the last several episodes we are... Uh, building up the USS Enterprise. The last episode we touched on base about me completely rebuilding it and uh, restructuring it, redesigning it, uh, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I went over several, several different areas of this ship that are being uh, overhauled. <laughs> Pretty much the whole damn thing. Uh, but I did take some from the original and put it into this. So anyways, in the last episode I was talking about the main deck being too high. And uh, I would have to go back and move everything down and then readjust all the walls and everything else. And that I have done off of camera. And then I've moved it from the uh, this spot over here to this spot over here and actually raised it up out of the water by one. Uh, I noticed uh, when I was post-editing, and I think I might have said something in the video, and maybe I didn't, that the, uh, the ship was sitting too low in the water. Uh, especially when I came around the back right here and I looked at it. Uh, it looked very, very low, uh, and so when I moved it over, I raised it up one, and then I moved my stripes down. I think that's what I did. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, it is one block higher, and everything looks a lot better now. The, uh, the main deck all has been moved down one, so I have a lot more room here. I, uh, I tore out the ceiling, and uh, hopefully you all can see up in here. If not, I'll do a little post-editing lighting boost. Uh, but I tore out the ceiling, and hopefully I can put in this top floor again. Uh, it's not going to be real detailed because it's only going to be too high. Uh, but I did get it ripped out, and because of the adjustment, now I have that extra space up here where I had only had one before. So anyways, that's all been adjusted. Uh, I got rid of all the lighting in the floor. Again, I can't remember if I talked about that in the last video, uh, whether or not I was going to keep it. I decided to get rid of it. Um, and I, I didn't like it. It's just uh, just way too much and uh, for the, that small of a detail I, I don't think uh, Really needs to be covered in this build. So anyways enough of all the stuff that we did in the last episode What are we doing in this episode this episode? We are going to try to redesign the elevator system uh, And I didn't remember talking about this being um, completely wrong and using cables for the lifting system. So what I'm going to try to do is get rid of the walls and we're going to use some uh, fence posts instead. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to tear this out and I will probably post a, uh, a picture over the screen right now so you can see what I'm going to attempt to do and I will probably put a little arrow on it so you can see it. As what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in underneath this and I believe because that comes up right next to it so we're gonna definitely need this filled in and we'll leave that overhang and right in here there's a wheel of sorts uh, it's a pulley wheel and that's what runs the cables and then there's a track that it runs in right here now that detail is going to have to be uh, left out <laughs> probably uh, I just don't have the blocks to manipulate some sort of a tracking system. If I could turn stairs on the side and run it up probably right in here it would work uh, but I'm not really sure how to do that. So we're at least going to put in the wheel and the track system. So probably one, two, three. Is that going to be too much? Probably go up one more. Let's go across here. And again the wheel is going to have to be kind of manipulated a little bit. Uh, we're going to set that back by one. Maybe something like this. Get rid of those. Let's put these in. And again, the wheel is not going to look too much like a wheel, uh, just for the simple fact of, you know, it's Minecraft. <laughs> for the size that it has to fit in here, it's not going to work. Uh, and I do think this piece here will take out. And that'll rotate out. Let's move this back by one and get a little bit of depth going on here. All right, there we go. And uh, let's go ahead and 
We're going to get rid of this black because this is not there. So we're going to get rid of all this shit. And we're going to get rid of all this shit here too. So let's get rid of that. Let's tear this out. And again, hopefully if you're following along, uh, you can get at least get some ideas of what's going on here. And uh, eventually I can do a re-tutorial on this once everything is, uh, you know, completed and looks a lot better. So we're going to do something like that and rip that apart. And uh, let's see, the chains, and well, the chains, the, the cables are going to come down out of this. And I really don't think one will do it. But I don't know if I want to double that up either. Maybe. Maybe double that up. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go behind. Double up the chain. Or the chain. I keep calling it a chain. I guess it's just uh, what I'm used to. Let's do something like that. Again, you're not going to see this from behind. I'm going to cover all that up. Is what we're going to do is use these two here in the, in the back or the front however you want to call it, where, it's, where we're looking at it. And we're going to take this down. I wish I could use something that doesn't connect. What if I... I really don't know if I'm going to switch colors here. Let's try uh, the dark oak, which would be close. And I don't think it will connect. It won't. Ooh. Is that going to look shitty, though? That will give us two different cables like that. Let's try it. I like that it doesn't connect um, so it doesn't look like fence posts. It looks more like cables. So let's see what that... Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright, so let's take this down without falling off the, uh, the ship here. Let's move this back by one for now. And uh, again, hope everybody is doing good and enjoying the series so far. Uh, again, the return of Play With Thunder. And uh, really appreciate everybody's support. I know I probably say that a lot, but I really, really do. It means a lot to me. Uh, is this going to be close enough? Hmm. Shit, that's going to be out way too far. I'm probably going to have to move this back now. Yeah, I'm going to have to move this back. Shit, I really wanted it kind of recessed. If I just undo that, I should still be able to undo it. Yeah, that's going to pull that forward. And then we can move this. Uh, let's do this one first. And go down here. And move that straight in. see and then we'll figure out how to connect this let's move this one up or in right there and here and I've got my docks finally cleared out I moved a lot of my ships today uh, all my battleships I've got them moved down to the memorial uh, battleship memorial hopefully you've been watching that uh, new series that I've posted last week uh, along with this one that's uh, where I'm putting all of my new, or all my, my redesigns. Well, <laughs> some of my some of them are getting redesigned, some of them aren't. Uh, but I've got them moved down to a whole new area to free up the docks. Uh, that way, let's see how does that look? Not too bad. Um, that way I've got a lot more room for the newer ships that I plan on building. And this needs to come out a little bit and make it look like it's kind of connected there. This design might change. I feel like I need something in here. I don't know, something like that, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, so I've got ships moved, and I've got uh, four or five empty spots down on the other side of the docks now, which I'm really happy about. Come on, stick. And this is going to be solid going across because this is where the uh, this continues across and I think it works together but I'm not really sure and I just picked up a hell of a hell of a jump there somewhere hang on all right I had to refix my render setting it was out way too far uh, I had it set for something else anyways I'm going to drop that down and we're going to thicken this up a little bit and bring that right here and 
and that is where the next wheel is going to go. Actually, I might bring that over one more. Something like that. And then, back behind here is where we're going to have the next wheel. Here, here, there, and there. And let's pull this across here. And I know, again, you will not see this. But that's where that's going to connect in. And this is going to do the same thing as that one did. So we're going to need the gray on the inside. Gray on the inside? Yeah, gray around there. And then here. And then out here. that that's where that was gonna go and again I'm gonna cover this up you don't really see that outer wheel either so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cover that up and leave maybe a bit of it exposed something like that I really want that recess but if I push that back it's gonna hang out way 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 too far uh, and it's just not gonna work for what I'm trying to do here I'll bring that down one more oh that's good and then we'll just mirror the other side just like that and throw some connectors on and I might switch these out for like anchors would probably look better but let's see what we got here when this is done this whole design might just be shit <laughs> we'll just tear it out all right there Bring that up by two. And this is going to connect underneath. Something like that, maybe. Like that. Alright, so that doesn't look too bad. It looks a little more uh, authentic. And it's what we have. We're going to cover this up on the inside so you can't see the wheels. Uh, probably. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, that's where the other one went. Okay, never mind. We'll just pretend that goes into another system inside the ship uh, where this whole thing kind of works. Like that. And then here. Oops. Cover that up. But I want to leave enough of it open underneath where you can kind of, where you can look up in there and see it maybe. Eh, maybe not. I think that looks kind of shitty. I think I'll just leave it recessed by one. Like that. And then we've got another piece that comes down here behind this. Let me look at it from this angle. Uh, that wheel's covered up. And here. And let's bring this across one more time. And then here. And then now we're going to leave this back here that I don't want to go too thick with that there's some bracing here somewhere here and there let's do something like this that maybe does that look all right and this piece connects Fill that in. Add a little depth on that piece. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It looks it looks better than this already. It's already more interesting. So I want to leave that open. And maybe I know this isn't here. I don't want to real I don't really want to do that. And this extra piece right here covers up that wheel. Does that wheel look like shit, dudes? I think that wheel looks like shit, doesn't it? I think maybe this needs to come up by one and cover half that wheel up. I think that's the, I think that's the problem. Yeah, let's let's do that. That looks that looks better. There we go. There we go. All right, so now we can kind of do this and cover up part of it. Now, now let's leave that open. Let's leave that open. 
Uh, yeah, it's hard to get to small detail, that's for sure. So that doesn't look too bad. I'm more, more happier, I'm more happy. I'm more happy with this. I don't know why I covered that up. And I don't really want this because I don't want it to connect. Hmm. Yeah, I think I am more happy with that than I am with this. Again, it's more authentic and it just looks better. Now there's some. Uh, when the elevators are down, and I did this to one of the other ones, uh, there's a cable to keep people from falling over the edge that goes around just like this. And I don't want, again, I don't want these connected. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put up the posts. And because the cable is so small, again, we don't have nothing in Minecraft that will simulate that except for string. But unfortunately, string will not connect between these. Uh, otherwise, that would work out really, really well. Um, so I think that would be a nice small detail that uh, I can leave on that elevator system. So it's what I will do is I will take this design and I will mirror it over on here. Uh, again, I will do that off camera. A little MC edit to save me time. And the elevator is done. And then I will just transfer it to the other three elevators. And I think, I think we have a good thing going. Now, do we need any extra bracing underneath? Or does that look fairly good? I think that looks fairly good. So we can leave that alone. Elevator's finished. Uh, we'll transfer that again over here and replace those. Uh, and so, oh, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. That's why this is here. Uh, the next piece that I want to exchange is this right here. This looks shitty. So I'm going to take out the iron blocks. And I, I may retexture the iron block. Um, I'm starting to phase it out on my battleships for uh, like the 16 inch and the uh, 15 inch guns and stuff like that. Um, five inch guns, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm starting to use some different material like a cobblestone wall. Um, so I may, I may change this over to something else. I don't know. I don't know. Looking at it anyways, but if what I want to do is I just want a track here. I don't want it to be very, very noticeable, but I want just enough where it looks like that door slides on a rail or a groove. In, uh, in the deck and then same thing up here as I'll turn this around or put it in upside down not turn it around just like that oops and basically mirror the bottom like that come on come on don't be doing that what the hell are you doing that for Stop, you peckerwood! Do I need to stick that? Why is it doing it on some and the other ones it's not? Oh, I I thought that was black. I had black block black blocks up in here. I don't. There's a hole in the ceiling. Okay, that's why it's not actually sticking. Okay, there we go. All right, now I think that it's it doesn't stand out quite as much, and it shouldn't. Um, let's see. The door slides on that. And the grooves, I'm not really happy with this bracing. I think I'm going to take the bracing out. Just like that. And same thing on the other side. Let's take this out. It's just a bit too thick. It's just a bit too much. Alright, so now when the doors are shut, they'll slide out from this point here. And this will be open. Uh, so anyways, we may close one of them doors off at a later time. So, anyways, all right, that will probably probably be a good enough episode for a nice little 15-minute run-through. Uh, give you some quick ideas on how to redesign your elevators, and maybe you can do the same thing as I have done, or maybe you can come up with something different or something better. If you have, let me know. I would like to see it. Send me some pictures on Twitter or some, uh, my Facebook, and, uh, and I will take a look at them, and you guys can get a little more involved that way. But uh, like always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.